Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Insulation, and in today's video, we're going to be replacing the factory stereo on this 2007 Chevy Silverado. Now, in this install, we're going to show you how to remove this radio. We'll head over to the bench to show you the parts that we're going to need for the install, including the dash kit and the wiring harness. We'll come back here to get everything installed. Let's get started. Now, we actually already have a great video on this install on a similar truck already on the channel. However, this truck specifically has the bench seat, so the dash design is totally different than the bucket seat version with the center console. So in our install here today, basically it's going to be identical to that, except for the disassembly and reassembly of the dash bezel. The radio, the parts, everything else essentially are going to be just the same. Now in our truck here today, we do have factory steering wheel volume controls, but we do not have factory bows. Now, regardless, the parts that we're going to use in the install today um, are all going to be just about the same anyway. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this guy on out. Now this bezel up and around the radio is just held in with clips. We need to go ahead and pop it free and we can use that with the aid of a panel tool. We can also just use your fingers. So essentially here, you can get just back behind this panel here. And what we're going to do is just start unsnapping it. just like that. Now we're gonna have a few harnesses on the back of this panel. Go ahead and disconnect those. Just like so. So that's out of the way. We can set that bezel off to the side. Now what's left here is just the radio itself. We will have to remove the HVAC controls first and then the radio can come second. All of which are held in with either seven millimeter or nine thirty second screws. With all those screws removed, you can grab the radio and kind of give it a tug here. It should come on out. You'll have a few harnesses on the back of the radio. Go ahead and disconnect all the harnesses there. Okay, so those are all disconnected here. Our radio is free. At this point of time, let's head over to the bench to show you the parts that we're going to need for our install. All right, so here at the bench, the parts that we're going to need for the install, first and foremost, is the radio that we're going with. Essentially, this is the uh, Pioneer ABH 2550NEX. Um, it is a slightly different model number. It's not a general US spec one, um, but it's basically just the same. Now, to integrate this in the factory location, we do need some adapter parts. Uh, we need a dash kit. This is the Metro 95 3305. If you're doing a single DIN, it's just the 99 3305. This is the double DIN version. We need a wiring harness adapter, uh, which this one by Crux also includes our antenna adapter, which is great. Uh, but the, this wiring harness adapter is the Crux SOOGM-16. This retains both Bose and non-Bose uh, trim levels. It also retains um, your OnStar button, your steering wheel volume controls. Um, basically, this will work with just about any 2007 to 14 GM vehicle. Finally, the last couple of odds and ends, since we are doing a Pioneer, we are doing a micro bypass here, which will essentially um, allow us to uh, play media and video playback while in motion. And then lastly here, you've seen us do this a ton on the channel, but we like these Oxygen USB flush mount adapters. We're gonna replace one of the power sockets, put this in its place, just for ease of access for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as the aux port. Okay, so without further ado, what we're gonna do is grab the harness adapter out of our Crux box. We're gonna grab the harness that came with our Pioneer radio, and today we're gonna to be soldering up our connections. Alrighty, so we grabbed the harness from our Pioneer and the harness from the Crux box, and what we're gonna do at this point of time is essentially match color for color. Now, Pioneers are pretty standard in terms of wire colors, and so for our instance here today, we can just match color for color. A couple of things to note, there are some similarities from the left and the right side. For example, there is a parking brake, which is a yellow with a black stripe, but our parking brake on this is a light green. This this also does have a yellow with a black stripe, but that's a mute, so you wouldn't connect those together. So it's always a great idea before you start making your connections to verify your radio wiring color with the harness that you're going with, just to ensure that even though they may match color for color, it may not be the right connection.
All right, so after soldering up our connections here, we just essentially match color for color, except for that yellow and black wire because they're not the same uh, function, or this side's a mute and this side happens to be the parking brake. We added in our parking brake bypass, which is right here, and that's why we actually didn't need to hook this one up here. Other than that, it's color for color. What we're gonna do is pull up our heat shrink up and over those connections and shrink them down with the heat gun. Uh, a couple of extra things, we just left a remote turn on out, we left an extra ground out just in case, and then we left also another accessory out uh, just for convenience down the road. So let's move that up, shrink the tubes, and loom up our harness. All right, so we went ahead and finished up soldering and assembling our harness here. Um, these ends plug into the vehicle. Everything's tested tape with high, some high temperature tape. Then this end plugs into the Pioneer. We got our micro bypass just right here as well. Got that wired in. We left off uh, extra accessory and ground as needed. Um, we have our remote turn on wire down the road. We're adding a five channel amplifier here. Um, so we got that all ready to go with the remote turn on, which will terminate here as well and finish looming up our harness. We have um, our steering wheel control wire. That's ready to go. This plugs into the WR input on the back of the radio. It does look like an aux. It's not an aux. It's a wired remote input for steering wheel volume controls. This little blue, green, blue, yellow one is for uh, Kenwood and JVCs. Uh, obviously, we're not doing one of those. So that'll plug into the WR on the back of the radio. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this harness. It's done. Now, as for the radio, we went ahead and got the dash kit on. Super simple. Um, you got the faceplate and then the, just the side brackets slip into it as you can kind of see there and then we just put the screws in mounting it all up that's all done so the last thing we need to do like we talked about and again it's totally optional bezel that we grabbed here um, this is our factory power socket here but on the other side or the driver's side we removed it and put our usb and aux flush mount adapter and this is what it looks like nice little easy access to um, provide the the driver a USB for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as access to the aux just like so at this point of time we're basically done here at the bench let's uh, turn our attention grab all our equipment here head back to the truck to start getting everything installed okay we're back here in the truck let's go ahead and grab our harness adapter and start making our connections for our radio here now they're key differently so you can only get them one way Make sure it snaps into place. Hey, just like that. Now we've already set our dip switches according to our crux diagram for our radio. This one plugs into the radio end. Let's go ahead now and tuck this into the dash here. So we got the radio all back in there. That's about it for this radio and cell video. Now, if you want to see how we did a backup camera on this, or like I said, other variations of this install video, if you have the center console version versus the bench seat like we do in this video here today, we'll link all those various videos in the description, along with uh, speaker install, amplifier install, sub install, everything that we've done to these series of trucks. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe. It posts great content on the channel all the time. And we'll see you in the next video.